Welcome back. We are still on the topic construction. In the previous video, we solved a question on constructing a triangle using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. When the dimension of two sides and the size of one interior angle is given to you. In this video, we are going to solve a question on constructing a triangle using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. When the dimension of one side and the size of two interior angles are given to you. The question for this video is using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, construct triangle PQR such that the side PQ is equal to 10 centimeters, the angle PQR is equal to 45 degrees. And the angle RPQ is equal to 30 degrees. So here we have been given the dimension of one side and two interior angles. When we are given the dimension of one side and two interior angles, the side given to you is going to be the base. So here the side PQ, which is 10 centimeters, is going to be the base. Let's begin the construction. To begin, we will pick the ruler and we will draw a long horizontal line. So we draw a long horizontal line here. Then after that, we will pick the compass and we will measure 10 centimeters. So you pick the compass and you measure 10 centimeters on the ruler. So 10 centimeters will be 100 millimeters on my ruler. Now, after that, you transfer it onto the line. You put the needle of the compass on one point on the line. You turn it and you construct an arc to intersect the line. Then with the same radius, you put the needle of the compass on this point. You turn it and you construct another arc to intersect the line, just as I've done here. I'm going to clean this part of the arc and clean this part also. This is point P and this is point Q. The length of the side PQ is 10 centimeters. Now, we move on to the angles. We are going to construct a 45 degrees angle on point Q and a 30 degrees angle on point P. Let's begin with a 30 degrees angle. So you put the needle of the compass on point P. You adjust the compass a little bit. So you adjust the compass, then you turn it and construct a semicircle on the line PQ using the point P as the center. Now after that, using the same radius that you use to construct the semicircle, you move the needle of the compass to this point, then you construct an arc here. Construct an arc to intersect the semicircle. This will give us the 60 degrees angle. So to get 30 degrees, you will bisect the angle formed here. To do that, you put the needle of the compass here. You adjust it a little bit. Then you turn it, you construct an arc here. With the same radius, you move the needle of the compass to this point. You turn it and you construct another arc to intersect the first arc that you have constructed. I'm going to clean this part of the arc. And clean this part also. The two arcs intersect at this point, and this is point P. To get a 30 degrees angle, we will join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point P. So the angle created here is 30 degrees. Now let's move to angle PQR, which is 45 degrees. So a 45 degrees angle at point Q. To do that, you put the needle of the compass on point K, you adjust the compass a little bit, then you turn it and you draw a semicircle on the line PQ using Q as the center. Then after that, we are going to bisect the semicircle. So you put the needle of the compass here, you adjust the compass a little bit, then you turn it and you construct an arc here. With the same radius, 
you move the needle of the compass to this point you turn it and construct another arc to intersect the first arc that you have constructed we're going to clean this part of the arc now clean this part also joining the point of intersection of the two arcs to point k will give us the 90 degrees angle now to get the 45 degrees angle we are going to bisect the 90 degrees angle formed here to do that you put the needle of the compass on this point you adjust it a little bit then you turn it and you construct an arc here after that with the same radius you put the needle of the compass on this point you turn it and you construct another arc to intersect the first arc that you have constructed i'm going to clean this part of the arc now clean this part also to get the 45 degrees angle we will join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point k so we can say that the angle formed here is 45 degrees the point of intersection of the two lines will give us the point r so this is point r the lines were extended too much so i'm going to clean some portions of it it's okay now we have point p here point k here and point r here so we have been able to draw the triangle PQR such that the side PQ is 10 centimeters. Angle PQR is 45 degrees and angle RPQ is 30 degrees. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to solve another question on constructing a triangle using a ruler and a pair of compasses only when the dimension of one side and the sizes of two interior angles are given to you bye bye